Amid thick Arctic ice, scientists hovered near the North Pole on a research vessel, waiting for conditions that would allow them to conduct drilling operations into sediments that have collected on the ocean floor for millions of years. Powerful icebreakers preserve the stability of the drill rig by keeping large ice flows at bay. Ocean drilling technology supported scientists while they gathered geological samples from beneath the sea. Each sample, rich in climate data, yields clues to events that affect climate change. We were interested to see how far back in time we have had sea ice in the Arctic Ocean, because that's an important parameter for climate studies. The Arctic Coring Expedition drilled four boreholes into a sub-ocean plateau called the Lomonosov Ridge, where sediment layers are more than 400 meters thick. We saw sand layers and, and pebbles in the sediment records, and since our drilling location is in the middle part, in the central part of the Arctic Ocean, they can only have been transported out to this position with ice, sea ice or icebergs. Look at these records there on the ridge. We really proved that, that there has been ice in the Arctic Ocean much further back in time than anyone has ever thought before. Despite evidence of long-standing ice, plant spores found in the cord material indicate that freshwater ferns had grown on the surface of the Arctic Ocean 55 million years ago, during a brief period called the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum, PETM for short. To our great surprise, we actually recovered pieces and bits of this PETM interval. And we saw that in the Arctic Ocean, we had summer temperatures of over 23 centigrades, which is like very warm, it's like subtropical. Paleoceanographers say the warm temperatures were caused by a burp that occurred when the Earth sent an enormous volume of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. A brief greenhouse effect was produced, followed by the eventual return to cooler conditions. If we can learn what has happened in the past, in the geological past, we can also begin to use that knowledge to stand and look forward into the future.